Patriots offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And if you've never been to my channel before, you know that I post tips and tricks about Madden 21 every single day here on YouTube. Different tips, different strategies that are designed to help you get better and be more effective in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you, maybe you've never been here before, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That way you won't miss an upload, you won't miss a video as we jump into uh, today's tip. Now the biggest thing that I want to talk about from the split close um, and really from the New England Patriots playbook in general is this is one of the most meta approved playbooks that I've ever come across. And what I mean by meta approved, I mean it has the route concepts, it has the formations, it has the schemes that really are quote unquote meta, meaning the most effective tactics that you can use in Madden 21. For example, it has the gun split close it has the gun heavy Patriot where you could come out and you could run with your quarterback it has the ace slot offset which we know how good of a formation this is uh, problem has done very good with this formation civil has also done very very good uh, with this formation over the years we remember last year watching D Croft uh, dominate through the air in a more run oriented meta and he did that from the gun why off trap uh, why off trips in the pa Pats playbook this playbook has all the route combinations that you really possibly could need uh, to be very very effective in this game and oh by the way it has gun trips tied in with those of you that know J wall and know fancy from TNC these guys use this formation at will and this is probably one of if not the best trips tight end formations in the game this curl flat play is absolutely insane um, with its ability to be able to beat man to man in zone coverage and then we know that skimbo made the gun bunch famous from the new england patriots playbook in madden 19 whenever he took down the madden classic um, with plays like pat's sale with that very unique post route on the left side of the field and then also plays like the pat's curl flat or the 518 hook so all in all, this has always been a formation, and or I'm sorry, a playbook that has been very, very effective. And this year is no different. In fact, it even has some really solid running plays from the iPhone tight. It has the HP lead, it has the HP blast, and the strong stretch, and the 26 duo. Um, it even has the iPhone close, iPhone Z close, with some very unique route combinations. And single back is loaded. This playbook is a dense and deep playbook which is what makes it very effective in Madden but today we're going to focus in on the gun split close now there's a couple things that you can do with your packages to be able to um, really maximize the packages and that would be to put the tight end at the position here this is going to allow you to auto down to any of your ace formations um, you could also sub in different wide receivers uh, at these positions but for today's video we're just going to stick with the standard personnel and i'm going to encourage you to have your best wide receiver on the left side of the screen and the play we're going to be talking about is the play halfback wheel now i love halfback wheel. we can also go over z spot there's so many good playbook or uh, plays out of this formation but today we're going to focus in on halfback wheel and i want to show you how this play can really torch man to man so as you can see here i am in cover two man and what you'll notice is if they don't adjust anything at the snap of the ball this corner um, has got outside leverage on Devontae adams you're going to be able to quick snap this play literally you don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever you can very simply just quick snap this play and what you're going to find is if they're not paying attention you're going to be able to quick snap that post route very very um, effectively against zone coverage now the major thing that the only adjustment that I really make to this is I take Marquez about his scantling and I basically do one of two things. If I think they're in man coverage, he's going to be on a slant. And if I think they're in zone coverage, he's going to be on a fade. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion him out. And basically, if that cornerback comes up and presses like he did right there, showing me that they're in man to man coverage, then I'm just going to motion him back in and snap the ball. And what you're going to see is this motion in slant route is going to get naturally picked and naturally loved. Now, I must admit that Civil does have an ebook from this formation. And so if you want to check him out all you gotta do is search civil on youtube you can find his material on this formation but this motion out and the motion in slant is something that i learned from him and his youtube channel um, and this does so good against man to man we know motion slants are very effective but motion in slants are just as effective as motion out slants of course we get intercepted as i start talking about how effective it is but that's partially because of the fact that jair alexander is one of the best quarterbacks in madden 21. Now, if you want to sign up to receive exclusive Madden 21 tips, more of a deep dive, more of a full scheme, um, as we are going to be doing a little bit more uh, material from this playbook, you can get more material on this playbook by joining our text message membership. 
it's 100% free to join that membership. All you have to do to join is basically just shoot me a text message. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Um, it's also in the description. You can text your questions in. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen um, where it says text me, and then it has my number in there. So I would love for you to join that mem membership. It is my personal cell phone, um, so I will be able to text you back and answer your questions and all of those things. But overall, guys, that is one of the best steps you can take to get better at this game because it's going to give you access to a little bit higher level, a little bit deeper, a uh, little bit more in-depth tips. But you see the difference between me motioning him out versus me motioning him in. When I motion him in, it's a lot more effective than when I motion him out. And one other thing you can do, you can basically play motion games with this slant route. You can motion it to the right, you can motion it left as well, and you're going to see that he's going to snap back and be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Motion slants are critical to your success in Madden 21, especially if you're facing someone who runs a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. So you've got those two reads against man-to-man -man coverage. The other read that you have is this little table route to the, uh, route to the running back. This is one of the best routes in Madden 21, as it is going to be able to beat man, and it's also going to be able to be very, very effective um, against zone coverage. So you'll see here when we motion Valdez Scantling back in, it's going to create this natural rub, and it's going to allow Jamal Williams to be able to get space and be able to get open against the man-to-man -man defense. Now, even if they man align and they press coverage, what you're going to see here is there's still going to be a lot of holes against the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, on this left side, you're going to see that they're going to do a little bit better of a job on this um, on this route to Aaron Jones, but as you can see, it is still kind of dicey. In fact, the defense doesn't quite understand, and this is why compression sets are so good this year, especially split close. Split close, honestly, if I was going to run one formation that was not the Arizona spread that I love, and if you guys want to pick that up, you can pick my full offensive guide up in the description of this video it's my madden 21 competitive guide it comes with my offense and my defense but we talk about arizona spread for over 100 pages of that document the whole guide together is over 125 pages but if there was one offense that i would run if i had to run one other offense in madden 21 and it wasn't the gun spread i would probably really have to think about running this split close because of how effective it is against man-to-man -man coverage you can do so much with this formation against man-to-man -man coverage this is just the tip of the iceberg but as you can see i'm man aligning and i'm shading over top and doing all of the things that people would do to establish a really really solid man coverage it's not until you start shading the coverage that you're able to really truly play good man coverage at least in my opinion this year's game so you definitely want to be shading the coverage there's no question about that what you're going to see here is even though we shade coverage oftentimes these quarterbacks are going to basically naturally switch off naturally rub off of one another because of the power of the formation it has to do with the alignment of split close it has to do with all the backs going in different directions and creating natural picks and rubs for the offense or i'm sorry for the defense to have to deal with now this corner route on the right is the, probably the worst route on the play for man-to-man -man coverage ironically it's probably one of the better routes for zone coverage but what you're going to basically do with this is if the window is open and i'm not going to say that it's always open you're going to need to look but basically what i would do is whenever he cuts to the right just low ball it and you're going to see there um the depending on if you have a pass lead elite quarterback like i do and an aaron Rodgers, you don't necessarily have to low ball this but you can and you're going to see here um, if they press coverage it's actually going to make it worse for them a lot of people are you're finding right now at least i am a lot of people are running press man-to-man -man coverage you're going to see if they press this it's going to create a natural switch but as you can see adrian amos is able to get out there and make the play on the ball so that's why i'm going to say it's you know it's one of those routes that you have to really kind of understand a little bit more about and you really just have to truly practice this route um, but this route will be different types of man-to-man -man coverage um, I personally think low balling it is the safest bet, but um, you can you can, you don't have to do that. Um, it's just something that I like to do, something that I think is going to help um, with that man switch. As you see right there, when they get the man switch, the, you see how the safety takes that route away, but you're still able to hit the running back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I just press coverage and I just motion about a skin now, what you're going to see here is a man switch that's going to occur, and it's going to leave Jamal Williams basically wide open for 15 yards. That's what I'm talking about. They're basically going to double team the corner route that Tonyan is on, and they're going to take away the drag or the underneath little um, crossing, or I'm sorry, underneath little table route um, that 
here in Joe's Zone. But what you'll see here is if you smart route this route, or if you basically, you know, kind of just leverage the, the pass leading of this ability, um, this is actually going to open up over the top of the, that cover too. You're gonna see he's gonna get right over the top. But like right here, you see we're able to get the ball uh, kind of to him. But I don't want to spend too much time talking about that route. The route that I, the route that is money and the route that is really, really difficult to stop is this post route to Devontae Adams. If you have a good wide receiver with route technician or with slot matic you're going to find that that route does get open fairly consistently. Um, these natural picks and natural rubs are going to make this a very difficult thing to stop these little quick routes to the running backs. But what you'll see is it's actually going to leave him vulnerable. And again, if they have one step ahead on their corners, Devontae Adams is probably not going to be open on this play um, because you're going to, I'm telling you right now, there are going to be so many man switches on the running backs. Um, but like right here, when he does get inside position, as you can see, he's going to be able to beat the meta coverages. So for example, if they were to do something like this, which is very, very common in competitive Madden right now, where you basically play man-to-man -man coverage, you're shading coverage outside and over top, and then you're going to basically uh, put the purples on the field and try to alleviate those outside patterns Basically, your opponent is going to be forced to choose whether he guards the slant or he guards the post route. And if he chooses the slant, you're going to be able to hit that post post route over the middle to Devontae Adams fairly consistently um, against the man-to-man -man coverage. So I just wanted to talk about this play. I hadn't really gotten out of Arizona much, and I've been talking a ton about Arizona, and I love Arizona. And I would, I would, I'm telling you right now, I believe it's the best offense in Madden 21, bar none. Has the best route combinations, has the best features. It has elements of all of the other meta offenses it has elements of the bunch it has elements of the single back wing flex close it has elements of the um, of the gun split close of the gun two back it has elements of the trips tight end and of course it is a dominant spread offense it has very very good post routes which i believe are the most important routes in madden so if you want to get my full ebook on the arizona cardinals uh, playbook it also comes with my full 46 defensive guide which has the big nickel over g the nickel 335 nickel normal nickel uh, and then the nickel 335 wide in it as well as the 46 and the 34 bear that is a very comprehensive, competitive guide that really truly is your one stop. You don't need any other guide for the rest of the year because it just covers so much about this game in one comprehensive guide for you. It's over 125 pages. And so far, most of the guys have been saying it's the best $25 dollars of Madden or of money that they've spent on the game uh, this year because it's truly helped them go from average player to above average player, from good player to great player, from average Joe to an elite Madden player who's able to win hundreds of dollars in money games. So I just want to encourage you, if you haven't picked that guide up, to go ahead and do that. If you don't feel comfortable getting the guide yet, I would join the text message membership. It's 100% free. You get really, really, really good material. Last week, we put out a full scheme from the gun cluster. The week before that, we put out um, a full run defense that shows you how to stop the run out of every formation in Madden 21. So if you want to sign up to receive those tips, literally all you have to do is just pull your phone out right now and send me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive them. Also guys, if you have not already joined my Discord, that's a great place to be able to connect not just with me, but with other people from the community that can help you take your game to the next level because you truly are the average of the five people you associate with. And when I start playing Madden with better Madden players and I start being able to connect Connect with better lab partners that is one of the key things that has helped me continue to get better at this game so I just want to encourage you to use discord as a great place to get your questions answered not just from me but from other people as well as to find some really really good lab partners as well so I want to thank you for your time today we're going to be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time so I'd love to see you over on the live stream and uh, until then guys text me if you have any questions and I'd love to talk more about our text message membership with you if you get a chance We'll see you on tonight's stream.